So people often ask, can you use the needle to see to outside, or as artists sometimes call it, in plain air? Uh, absolutely, the needle seat is not only portable, but as long as you have its table or an easel set up, you can easily take it outside and use it in a city or out in a landscape. Here's a typical outdoor or plain air setup. Um, there's this tripod easel which has a pivoting head that allows you to mount the drawing board horizontally. The drawing board here is just a small piece of masonite. And then the sketchbook is clamped to that board so that it doesn't move while I'm drawing. And the needle seat plus is attached to the drawing board. Now, if there was just something for me to draw. That'll do. It's probably fitting that I'm in Paris talking a little bit about what it's like to use the Neo Lucida outside. The French Impressionists were pivotal in making the outdoor and plain air painting a very popular style in the second half of the 19th century. The sudden commercial availability of pre-mixed paints in tubes and portable easels made it very easy to grab your kit and go out into the landscape, out into the fields, into the city, and paint directly from real life. When it comes to the Camera Lucida, there is a spot in Paris that is of particular interest to those of us who like to draw with these optical tools. In 2015, the Art Institute of Chicago sent me here to Paris to investigate whether or not Impressionist era painter Gustave Caillebotte used a Camera Lucida to make a preparatory drawing for his painting, Paris Street, Rainy Day. Did he use a camera lucida and an easel on this spot to make that drawing? Here's a video that I made explaining what I found. I'm here in Paris on Rue de Turin, uh, looking pretty much at the same scene that Kayabat saw when he stood here to draw his preparatory sketch for Paris Street Rainy Day. What I've done is copy his drawing uh, and make a perfect one-to-one -one print uh, onto a portable drawing table, and to it I've attached a camera lucida. The camera lucida is a 19th century optical drawing aid that lets you trace what you see. The artist would look down inside this tiny prism, and when looking through, your vision is split between your hand and your pencil onto your page, and a ghost image of your subject in front of you. This meant that the artist of the day could very simply trace geometry or likenesses or overall compositions of scenes without having to struggle by working it out by eye. It is my suspicion that not only did Kaibot use this camera lucida, but also it stood in this exact same spot. Because what I've been able to verify is that when you look down inside the prism and look at his drawing underlaid at one-to-one -one scale, you can see that the geometry and the drawing line up just about perfectly. Which means that what Kayabat was doing was standing here with a very simple setup like this, doing his quick preparatory sketch drawing, taking that drawing back into the studio, using some rulers and straight edges to kind of create some basic ruled lines to establish the geometry for a future transfer to the large canvas that you see at the Art Institute. 